MLVbro.com, covering black and brown major leaders. Uh, after you decided to hang out, uh, the things, what made you pursue coaching as a uh, way of being decorated in baseball? You know, when I played, I played parts of 10 years and I always had a good relationship with my teammates and stuff like that. And I always had some some type of information to help my teammates, even when I wasn't in the lineup. So being able to stay in the game to help guys to, uh, to better their careers is always I wanted to do that. Your coach career started in like high A, going to play triple A. Which is harder? Working with the Myers as a player or with the Myers as a coach? <laughs> I'd say as a player because you're grinding, man. You're trying to do your thing and, and you're trying to reach your ultimate goal. And then as a coach, you just, you know, now it's about 13 other guys instead of yourself. So, But I just think putting the pressure on myself to fulfill my dreams as a player to get to the big leagues is a little tougher. And you did all your coaching with but yeah, he's coaching and he's you're not coaching with the big league team at all, or you're happy here? <laughs> no, man. I, when you coach, that, that's what it happens like that. You know, I just saw my favorite basketball coach, Doc Rivers, just get fired. This guy's been been amazing. So that put things in perspective. You just want to go out and be able to help your team with whoever you're with to try to help them get to that ultimate goal. That's winning the championship. Just about your playing career. Looks like you hit a home run off your first bat. Yeah. And you hit off Randy Johnson. What was that like? You hit off our first guy home run like that. It was pretty cool. It was cool. It was surreal. Um, I, I, still think about it to this day, but um, it was just getting that opportunity to uh, put my feet in the dirt in the big league stadium was awesome. And speaking of opportunities, have you been able to keep up with going with Joe Adele, the Miners? I mean, he's got all the talent in the world, and he's killing it right now, the Miners. Do you think it's more about he finally taking the mental with the physical, or can you be here pretty soon? I think he's, he's doing a heck of a job. Kudos to him, because he's He's, he worked really hard this winter, and um, it was more on the mental side of things because he's he's athletic as they come, and um, that's the one thing that I talked to him about. And um, he took that down to Salt Lake City, and um, he's doing his thing. I think he got like 10 or 11 homers right now, but um, he's playing baseball and being an athlete that we all know he could be. Uh, last thing, uh, I have you heard you played with uh, Gary Sheffield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. saw his son. Yeah, yeah. Was growing up or? yeah. I've seen him since he was a kid in the clubhouse. So he um, talented young man. I talk to Gary all the time. And uh, I'm happy with what he's doing. Uh, he works really hard at his craft, so um, the sky's the limit for him. Uh, what are your thoughts about Gary Shipman? Why is he not in the Hall of Fame? I have no idea. He's a Hall of Fame in my book. Great teammate, been a great mentor to me, and um, he's in my Hall of Fame. I don't get into all the other stuff, but I'm happy that I was able to be, be mentored by him and still call him a, a true friend. <laughs> MLBbro.com, covering black and brown major leagues.